Welcome back everybody to the second video in the Tecmoto Electronic Theory um, playlist. Um, in the last video I showed you how to use a breadboard. In this video I'm going to show you how to use um, LEDs and tell you all about LEDs. LEDs are light emitting diodes. Um, they do two things. Firstly, they emit light, um, which is pretty obvious from the name. But the second thing is they're a diode. Now, uh, a diode as a component um, only allows current to flow through in one direction. Um, so you have to be very careful with LEDs that you get them the right way round. Now, if you get them backwards, it doesn't necessarily do anything. It just won't work. Um, but if you get them the right way around, they will light up. Now, to get them the right way around, you have to look at the legs. The legs have um, two different lengths, a long one and a short one, the anode and the cathode. The long one goes to the positive, the short one goes to the negative. Now, if those legs are cut short for any reason, you can, I'm not sure if you can see it on the video here, but there is a flat side on the casing of the LED and that points towards the cathode or the negative side. There are many different types of LED. Uh, you've got 3mm, which are the smaller ones. You've got the 5mm. You can get them round. You can get them square. You can get multicolored. You can get tricolor LEDs. Uh, there's literally thousands of different types. Um, you can get bright. You can get super bright. Um, you can get all sorts. So I'm just going to wire one up uh, so you can see how they work um, and uh, show you a few different types. And, uh, and then we'll call it a day. So bringing in my breadboard that I showed you in the last video, I'm gonna wire up my power rails here uh, with a positive and negative from a PP3 nine volt battery. I'm going to take a current limiting resistor. Now, if you're gonna use an LED, it's really important that you take into account the current because if you put nine volts straight through one of these LEDs, it will blow it. Now, when I say blow it, um, what I mean is if you put current through it from one of these batteries, it'll do one of two things. First thing it'll do is it'll just stop working and it'll never work again. The second thing it'll do is it will blow the top off the LED. Um, it has quite a, a violent reaction. Sometimes smoke pours out of them. Um, but needless to say, if you plug it into a power source, which is too much for it, it's just not going to work again. So we use a current limiting resistor in series with the LED so that it will light up. Now the rule of thumb is that the current limiting resistor needs to be 50 ohms per volt. So we've got 9 volt battery here um, and I'm running a 330 ohm resistor uh, which isn't enough um, but it's it's good enough to, to protect the LED but the rule of thumb is about 50 ohms per volt. So this is a 5mm uh, red LED, uh, pretty obvious. This one here has a clear housing on it. Um, so if we put the long leg in the positive and the short leg in the negative, we've got uh, a white light and that's a super bright. So that's probably shining off the camera. So if I point it off to one side, you can see, point it towards the camera, you can see how bright it is. Uh, this one here is a 3mm. Now we've got two 3mm LEDs here and they both look exactly the same with the clear casing. Um, but just because it's clear doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be um, white light. So that's a blue one. If I point it off to one side, you can see, point it towards the camera. Uh, this one here, I believe, is a red one. So just because it's got a clear housing doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be uh, a white light. Now, there's one more LED, which is particularly useful in the range, which is this one. This is a tri-color LED, and you'll notice that it has a clear sort of frosted housing, and it has four um, pins coming out the bottom of it. Now, this is the only component that I know of uh, that goes against um, that sort of rule of thumb of the long leg being the positive, because in this one, the long leg is the negative, and you've got three other legs. Now, if you put negative to the long leg, you can put positive to any of these three legs and you get a different color. And I'm going to show you what I mean. So if I plug the long leg into the negative and I bring that leg into the um, positive power, let me just bend these out of the way, you get red. So that's the one leg. If I take that leg out of the way and I plug in one of the other legs, I get green. And if I take that leg out of the way and plug in one of the other legs, I get blue. And if you plug in two of the legs, it actually turns both the colors on at once. 
so you get a slightly different sort of bluey greeny color and I can also plug all three of these legs in if I wanted to if I can actually get it to plug in so one two oh it's not going to do it one two three and I'll just move that resistor over there and you can see that that's shining more red than anything else but all three colors are on so that's LEDs Pretty simple, really. Uh, the only thing you need to make sure that you do is that you get uh, the, the legs the right way round. You have a current limiting resistor um, and uh, you don't blow them up. So that's the end of this video. Um, if you liked it, please do uh, throw me a thumbs up. Uh, please do subscribe. Follow the journey as we go through all these different components. Um, subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next one.